Hi everyone, today we will be discussing about profit volume chart. Initially I will discuss with you with respect to single product and then later on we will discuss with respect to multiple product. So what we will do is uh, the same example which we used earlier in our calculation for uh, break even point, target profit analysis and margin of safety, same example I will use here to relate it with the calculation part as well. So this was what we discussed earlier as an example in calculation of break even point, the same example we will use. Um, what is profit volume chart? As the name indicates, profit volume chart is basically used to present what we have earlier identified uh, in, in part of our calculation as our break even point, uh, our profit expected, uh, you know, the target profit, can we achieve that as well or not. So it will be a way of presenting our data, which will be more understandable for the users of that data. Okay, so let's start off. What we have in this chart is the changes in the amount of profitability with respect to changes in the volumes of production and sales. So on one side, we will be having the volume of production and the sales. And on the other side, we will have profit or loss. One thing which I highlighted earlier was that if the contribution is zero, if we are not producing and selling even a single unit, then we will have a loss and that amount of loss will be exactly equal to our fixed cost, which is 9,000. So if volume of production and sale is zero, we will stand at a loss of uh, $9,000. And then if we sell out the maximum number of units, which is the budgeted sales 5,000, then we have to see that after selling 5,000 units, where our profit stands. So let's start off. Uh, what we will have in this chart is volume of sales on one side. We can have sales in terms of units or we can have sales in terms of amount as well. But we will be using initially in terms of units. Here we have zero, okay? And uh, here we have the amount of profitability and here we stand at a loss. So uh, as we said earlier that if the volume of production and sales is zero, we will be having a loss and that loss will be exactly equal to our fixed cost because the contribution at that point of time is zero. So let's, uh, let's divide this into the number of sales approximately okay so let's say we have here 5000 units and let's have the profit or loss as well so let's say we have profit or loss here in terms of amount 5,000 and 10,000 and same is the case here we have if we are able to sell more and more units and we are able to generate more amount of profitability so we will see how far we can reach okay so as we said earlier that if volume of production and sales is zero we will be at a loss of uh, $9,000 so approximately I will take close to 10,000 which means that this is where we stand at the worst possible case scenario. And then the best possible case scenario is uh, the maximum number of units being sold could be 5,000. So if we will sell 5,000 units, then we have to calculate how much amount of profitability we can generate. Definitely this amount of sales comes up, uh, you know, gradually. But let's say if we sell the maximum number of units of 5,000, where do we end up in terms of profitability? So if we look at this one, we have a contribution per unit of $3. Contribution as in the difference between selling price and variable cost, which is three per unit. So if we end up selling 5,000 units, it means the total contribution we will have, it will be 15,000 and because we have a fixed cost of 9,000 so if I will subtract this fixed cost as well from the amount of profitability uh, from sorry the contribution we will end up at a profit of 
5000 sorry 6000 apologies okay so uh, what we have is that if we sell all amount of 5000 if we sell zero units we stand at a loss of fixed uh, fi uh, which is uh, 9000 equal to our fixed cost and if we end up selling all the units uh, expected units 5000 we will end up at a profitability so it means that this loss will gradually increase from uh, $9,000 and eventually it will reach up to an amount of profitability of $6,000 which means that by selling these 5,000 units we are expected to end up uh, you know at 6,000 profitability which is um, approximately here on the graph and when I try to trace this on the other side I found out that you know my amount of profitability will be at this point now what we will do is we have to actually uh, you know join these two extremes the worst case scenario and the best case scenario the minimum sales and the maximum sales and then we will be able to identify our break even point as well which we have earlier calculated in our calculations as three thousand dollars so when we will actually uh, join these two points okay uh, approximately you can see here the break even point is at around 3000 units and this is what we calculated earlier as fixed cost divided by contribution per unit of fixed cost of 9000 divided by contribution per unit of three dollars so we got 3000 approximately this is not the exact graph but approximately you can see that we will have a break even point at 3000 which is the same as we calculated earlier now in this graph one thing that we have to keep in mind that in exam you will not be asked to draw the diagram uh, in exam you will be given a diagram and you will be asked certain questions from within that diagram as in how much is the fixed cost uh, where is the break even like how much is the break even without doing any calculation so this point of intersection is basically your break even point and uh, this area on the graph which is effectively our loss okay which is exactly equal to our fixed cost as we said earlier this is basically our fixed cost okay because that we took from the fixed cost okay so let's call this area on the diagram as fixed cost and this one as profitability and the combined area could be declared as contribution earlier we said contribution is selling price minus variable cost but contribution could also be calculated by adding fixed cost with uh, profit as well if you look at the statement which we used earlier so if selling price minus variable cost is equal to contribution and then contribution minus fixed cost is equal to profit so this simple equation can actually be rearranged uh, fixed cost plus profit could all, uh, be equal to contribution as well so this is how we can understand the profit volume chart we can even draw this uh, diagram or chart using uh, excel as well for presentation purposes in order to present uh, this information to our management for decision making purposes for planning for analysis so this is the this is how it is uh, used for single product this is how we make it for single product moving forward we will discuss how to make the same profit volume chart for multiple products and we will be discussing the same example which we have used uh, earlier in the calculation part.